So hello, hello, welcome everybody to the stream. Today, we're going to be starting off our campaign in Outer Wilds. I've been looking forward to this one. It's a game I've been meaning to play for quite some time. I have a fascination, I guess you could say, with, with like, not time traveling games, but time looping games. Uh, Outer Wilds. What was the other game that we played? Like 21 minutes or something like that? It was not very... 12, 12 minutes! 12 minutes we played that one. We played The Forgotten City. Just a lot of these kind of like games where you got to figure out what the... It's like a puzzle game and you just got to figure out through the time loop how to stop the time loop from happening. As far as I know, that's kind of the plot to Outer Wilds. Um, I have been told... Well, I've, I've not been told. I've read that we should be going into the Outer Wilds knowing about as little as possible, which is what I'm at. I don't really know anything about Outer Wilds. I know there's a time loop, and I think the time loop's like every 20 or so minutes, but that's really the extent of my knowledge on Outer Wilds. Other than that, I don't know too much other than I think like you go through space. And that, that's about it. Like the sun blows up or something to that extent. Also, mouse sense or not mouse sensitivity. The game tells you that you want to... Um, that is preferable controller, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Okay, but now that is way too high. Bring it down by like two. There we go, that's a little bit better. Hello, Slate! There's our pilot back from your pre-launch uh, camp on Under Stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined a space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to go off the beautiful, uh, off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. I'm ready if you are. Are you kidding? Of course I'm ready. It's finally time to test new landing hydraulics with the pilot instead of the auto flight systems. Speaking of pilots, you make sure you don't crash the ship the first time you put it down here. Anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfeld at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you have them and say goodbyes or whatever. Okay. Now, let's see. So we have resume here. I don't think we have an inventory system. Okay, and there's actually like no music. Like, it's very, very... Atmospheric. I dropped my controller. <laughs> Good work. Oh, I can see my body. Let's go. Always a sign of a great game, I would say. It's when you can see your own body. Okay, requires launch codes we don't have. So we need to. Can I jump? I can jump with A. Hold. Okay, if we hold A, we jump higher. Excellent. Oh, so this is a sort of tutorial area. Now, I'm wondering does the time loop begin right now? Fly model ship. Hello, Mika. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going into space? Uh, aren't you? You better not uh, change your mind. I'm still going. You better be. It's in forever since anyone launched in space. I really, really want to see it. Really bad. Hey, you want to try out my model ship? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Absolutely not. I would much prefer to maybe start a fire. Now, I will say, again, the music does sound very, very nice. Hello, Porphy. Hey, oh, hatchling. I hear you're leaving to seek adventures among the stars. When you return, let you, me, and Gosin open up a bottle of the good stuff. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting than just a challenge. An iron stomach is a mark of a true history, my friend. Our hearty, 100 gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. Okay. So, uh, let's see. So, you are like a walk. And that's all. Hey, wait, okay, wait. No, Y pulls out this, which I don't know what that is yet. Hello, Rutile. You're actually blasting off that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. All I know is between the space program and Miko's model ro uh, rockets, things sure seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Again, if the audio is too loud for the game, just let me know. Okay, anything around here? Not as far as I can tell. Okay. Is there a sprint button that doesn't seem... Okay, we have a flashlight. So it's launch day, huh? We're all gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launched from is getting quite old. Is it about time you built a new, less flammable one? Uh, nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. What? No, I'm just thinking uh, it's in the way, and so no, not uh, chop it down, you know? Specifically me. Haha. <laughs> you think this has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That was just that we were hatchlings. Who would hold a grudge for that long? Mmm. Probably you would be my guess. So you're Guineas. Hello, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. Mercy Observatory. Something like that to make us worried about you going out into space with your own, you know? The observatory is up the path behind the waterfall. There's a couple of signs marked the way. But really, you just gotta keep going up and hook right when you get to the Zero-G cave. 
We have a zero gravity cave. Holy hell. Okay. So we're basically just going all the way up. And that's fine. Hello to Spinel. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. Sing it helps me pass the time. You're leaving the crater, I guess we'll all be a little busy without you around to lend a hand. That part's not that, that last bit's not part of the song. The big water plant at Giant's Deep? That's where I'd go. Why is that? One time after the rest of the village had uh, left to sleep, it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire. Garble told me about their first trip to Giant Steep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down. On account of the murky waters, I guess. It's just too dark. The guy wants to see what lays beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly Garbo was not feeling any further. Or they couldn't go any further. Okay. Yeah, Giant Deep is a current you couldn't pass through. Sure, okay. But shut up a minute, this is a good part. As though exercising the will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabriel go any deeper. It held Gabriel back, almost as if he were trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabriel saw it. The tentacle is some hideous beast. Is this all true? I heard from Gabriel himself. Gabriel can be a little fanciful, sure, but they aren't a liar. I mean, probably, anyways. I guess if you want to know if the story is entirely true, you can go see Giant Deep for yourself. Okay, so... Gabro's Deep could have, theoretically... I'm gonna turn on the audio just, like, a little bit here. There we go. So Gabro's Deep could have some sort of monster in it. Could be important for our quest here. Okay. And are... I'm assuming you're the Observatory? I mean, you look Observatory-ish. But there's also a lot of stuff around here. Everything kind of looks like it could be an Observatory. What the hell is that? Is that the moon? What the hell is that? Don't really know. Zero G cave. Oh, the observatory! Let's go. Okay. Yeah, no, it's, it's got a big telescope on it, so I'm assuming this has got to be the right place to be. I am assuming, by the way, that the timer for the uh, resets have already begun. It, it just makes sense that uh, there's going to be like a. I, again, I don't know how long exactly it is. I've heard it's like 20 something minutes. This remarkably intact statue is carved from Nome, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue rides with our most detailed look yet at the Nomi, who appear to have been covered in a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry has always been carved as part of the antlers. Though their artifacts and structure have been found in almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Okay, hello Hal. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day last, huh, buddy? It's a translator tool's inaugural flight, too. Uh, I'm so excited, it makes me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate a Nomi, any Nomi text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Okay, jeez, do not break it. I'm terrified. Ah, don't let uh, me make you too nervous. You've been training for this day since you were a hatchling, remember? You'll do great, I promise. So what's the dirt? Uh, you here to see the new Nomi statue? Oh, of course. Ha, I knew you'd want to see it before you were headed off. Hornfels just finished prepping it for display today. Amazing, isn't it? Makes me wish you could see uh, what a real-life Nomi looked like. And I guess this is the closest we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. It's the first fully uh, intact statue we've ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, jeez. I just got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself at 30 here. Um, okay. Never mind. So which one of you had the, uh, the code? Presumably, is, is he up? I don't think it was you. Was it someone up here? That's where I would be if I was, uh... Yeah, it's almost certainly you, right? Yeah. Hornfells. There you are. I just finished pre-flight's observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. You'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomi translator, too. I confess being giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomi. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Okay. I'll meet up with other travelers. I want to go somewhere nowhere else gone before. I think I'll start with something small. I'm going to wing it. Plan to follow in the footsteps of Felix Spear and the great Outer Wilds Ventures tradition, are you? I might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Okay, I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent. You'll need the launch codes then. Here you are. Best get off this ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Okay, so we've got our launch codes. RB zooms in. And I, I don't know. I mean, view map. Okay, so we are here. We got the Hourglass Twins, we got the Brittle Hollow, we got Giant Sleep, and we got the Interloper. 
as well as Dark Bramble. And then there's, look, there's like one more, um... That dotted line. Are you not like another... There you are. What are you? I do not know what this is. That might be important. I'm, I'm curious about what this uh, red star is. But I think we're probably going to go... Probably to the interloper first. That's kind of my... Yeah, there's an unknown signal... Thousand meters this way. Oh, like, tw actually, like, 20,000 meters that way. Okay, unknown signals. Is it getting closer to me? I mean, that, that seems like it might be an issue. Okay, put that away for now. Okay. I'm ready to go into the spaceship. Wait, wait what the hell are you? Strange rock moving around in the grotto appears to be uh, to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realizes there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Garbo thinks a rock exists in all possible states of those observed, whatever that means. I mean, that, that's a little worrying, I would say. Yeah, and there's something like very, very far away in that direction. Oh, hello! The statue wants to have a little chat. That's fine. Yeah, no, this seems this seems really good. I'm, I'm happy to. Okay, this actually does exactly what we've looked at. Okay, okay. Hey, uh, I, I don't got anything to say about that. It, the, the statue may or may not be possessed, which is a kind of an issue. You know, before we go to the Lodge Tower, I want to go see the Zero-G Caves. We might have something neat. I mean, it seems like that might be important. Okay, there's something like below us here. But I'm assuming whatever we care about is not going to be on this uh, planet, presumably at least. Hey, come say hi to your old uh, flight coach where you launch. I got ZOG training set up if you want a refresher. No, you know what? If that's just for, like, tutorial stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm good at not knowing that, to be quite honest. By the way, I'm going to find out now. Is there fall damage in this game? <laughs> the answer is yes. Yes, there is. Okay. I'm dead, by the way. So is this our first time loot, then? The answer is yes. Now. Okay. You know what? It got us to our exit way faster. Hello. Did I just die? Well, bad daydream or something? You look half asleep, but the negative on the being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep out under the stars at night for a launch. If it asks me, it's made you a, bit, a little bit jumpy. Okay. Well, we got our launch codes. So, the information that we keep. We keep information between lives. That's good to know. And also, there's fall damage. So that's something else that uh, is probably going to be important for us in the, in the future. I can't imagine this spaceship working well in any capacity, but okay. Hey, our HUD. Okay. Gravity 1.7. We have a map now. Fantastic. Is that big? Can I lock on to you? This, I feel like this is important. I want to go there first. View ship logs. Okay, let's buckle up. Hold RT for lift off. X, lift off camera. Okay, now that's for landing. And you're 18 kilo only 18 kilometers, really? Unbuckle, equip scout launcher with RB. Okay, I don't know what the hell that is. Put this away for now. I mean, it's 19 kilometers. I don't feel like we're going very fast at all. Hold A, match velocity. Engage autopilot. 
Aligning flight trajectories. Outer Wild Ventures. Is it going faster than I am? Okay. We're now in space. And I would consider that to... Uh... Okay, we're now, we're now going forward. Cool, cool, cool. I, again, I just want to see what this is. It feels like it's going to be very, very important. But I have no idea what the hell it's going to be. By the way, autopilot? Great invention. I'm, I'm glad that I have it. I guess this also resets our time, right? If we have, if we have like 20-something minutes... Oh, shit. Ah! Okay. We've undershot target. Are you sure about that? You sure about that? What is it? Put away launch scout RB. I mean, it's super small. Is it just like a little drone? Okay, I want to match velocity with you. So we're now moving at the same speed. I want to get a little bit close. I just want to know what it is. I think it's just like a little probe. It might it might actually not be important in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Well, if that's the case, you know what? Well, let's go to... I think that's where we came from, right? I don't want to go back home for obvious reasons. So let's go with Giant Steep. I think Timberhurst is where we live. Interloper. Looks like we've got like a weird space station here guarding the sun. I guess let's go to Giant Steep. Seems, uh... Seems fair. Okay. We got return suit, test the environment, detect hazards, illuminate dark area, seas behind the horizon, fuel and health is full, excellent. What about our ship logs? View entry. The one and only hazard village, as well as the main source of ex uh, explosion on the planet. The Nightmare Stochu is the observation opened his eyes and looked at me. I saw strange glowing lights and my own memories flash before my eyes. Find in rumor mode. Okay. So you're basically going to be the log that shows us... Okay, so there's basically our moon, we got the sun, Ember Twin, Ash Twin, Brittle Hollow, Holler's Lantern. So there's not actually that many things we can explore, presumably at least. But that's where we're going to keep our notes, it looks like. So I'm assuming that's going to update automatically, and I don't need to ever think about anything. Otherwise, we might have some issues. I mean, we could open the hatch, which I'm guessing this ejects me into space. I can't imagine that is super useful. What about like, what about this, um... I mean, we got giant deep here, yes. But what about all the debris kind of rotating around it? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, don't crash into the planet. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Okay, we're in the atmosphere. Ah! Ah! Okay, let, let's land here. Yeah, let, let's let's just land right here. There we go. Landing mode, please. <laughs> okay, we did crash right into the planet. But I'm sure everybody probably crashes into the planet their first time playing. I'm going to assume that's not a me issue. Okay, there's our ship. Excellent. And now, of course, if we... Can we what are you? Well, we can't zoom in any more than this. Pan view, close map. Now, I'm wondering about the planets, if you can land in multiple locations, or if every planet has just, like, one spot that they could be. Okay, gravity is 2x, so, I mean, it, it's pretty heavy here. We have a lot of oxygen. Things are looking on the up and up, for sure, for sure. I'm just going to go into whatever the hell this is. 
Now, I don't know if there's, like, combat in this game. I don't know... Like, I, I don't really know anything. And that, that's kind of, again, where the fun comes in. Okay, hold A for jetpack. Okay, so we do have a jetpack. Presumably, that's going to be for our fuel here. I, I don't... I, I'll be honest, I don't have a great... Fe <laughs> I have a great feeling about this. This seems like we're going to get ourselves killed, which worries me to a great extent. Okay. Hold to translate. RB. Too close to target text. Enter this place without friends. However, there are lessons to learn for yourself. Okay. No, I don't have friends, so that makes my life easier. Anything else we got around here? We got a bench. I think that is... Actually, wait, what about you? There's a signal 988 meters down. So is that like on the other side of the planet? Trees detected. Oxygen something something. Okay. So now 952 meters. We're, we're closer. But that's not saying too much. So is, is this our test? Can I fly? Yes, I can. Oh, yeah, but the, you gotta remember the gravity here is pretty goddamn heavy. So are we just falling through... Wait, wait a second. I mean, we fell out through you. I guess this is kind of like my map over here. Now, I will say... You know... You weren't there a second ago. Right? Unidentified single nearby. Signal identified. Island shard. Frequency discovered. Quantum fluctuations. Change frequency, outer wild ventures, quantum fluctuations. I mean, that seems. There is one that's 21,000 meters in that. Okay, so this stuff just moves every once in a while. That's cool. You, you have fun here, Rock. I don't want to. Okay, the Rock. Yeah, you weird massive stone, you stay up there. I don't want I don't want to deal with your shit at the moment, okay? Like no offense. Untranslated. Okay, too close. Untranslated. Yeah, I know it's Okay, hold this. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. So if it's a picture of the object or if we're looking at the object directly, the, it's that's considered the exact same thing, so that's good to know. So presumably, if we ever take a picture of something, that probably plays in somehow. How I don't know yet. You're untranslated. You know you are. You are translated. You're untranslated. Nope, you were the same thing. Okay. But then, but they they keep teleporting around the map. If I stop looking at it, they teleport somewhere else. Hello, tree. How are you? So presumably, somehow we can unlock the flo the the hole in the floor. I just don't know how to do it. Oh, you know, there it is. There it is. Thing is, if I go up the stairs, if I, if I ever like stop looking at it, oh, that's my scout. I would like my scout back. So if I were to take a picture of you, and it's staring at the quantum object, then the quantum object cannot move because it's being observed. Okay, fantastic. 
Okay, I would like to retrieve my scout, please. Okay, so I put you away. So you're this. R B a scout. Take a picture of the quantum object. And you're the shard. Now the question is, are you... I wasn't looking at the photograph. That's why this was able to move. Okay. I mean, there's something very spooky in this direction. And it, and it is getting closer. It might be one of those things that's kind of over orbiting the, uh, the solar system. Again, I would prefer not to know. Hello. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck. Ah, yep. Okay. So. I have to keep looking at you in order to keep the world tilted. But you're here. But I need to get him on. Well, I need one of you to stay. But I need to launch my scout. It's looking at the thing now, okay. Okay, so now if I look at you, and I keep staring at it, it cannot disappear. Okay, we're, we're learning mechanics, we're learning game mechanics here. Hello to you as well. Do you do, you do anything, or are you just... A weird, a weird little guy. I think you're just like a weird little guy. And that's fine. You can be weird. Okay, so I need to translate you. This is the last one. But we made it harder. Okay. Uh, see, so you're pretty far away. So what I need to do, I think, is I have to get my drone. Take a picture of one. And if it's looking, or, is it, or are both of them in that? I think both of them might be in that picture, actually. So then I stop looking. I stop looking. And now you're here. Hmm. Now it definitely is a little trickier for sure. But you know what I need to do? I need to retrieve my scout. I need you to rotate and look at this one, please. Then I gotta stop looking at you, and now you're closer. And then if I rotate the camera again, stop looking, and then it'll be here. Okay. Well, we're now up here. I'm I'm actually the world's smartest uh, Outer Wilds player. Okay, give me back my scout, though. Hello. Uh, how are you? How are you, Island Shard? So, me too, man, me too. We're, 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 we're... Okay. I will say the game's lagging a little bit here. We offer you our congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Untranslated text remaining. Remember, other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you. And your path guides uh, those who will follow later. Is that anything? I don't think so. Okay. So I can fall down into the abyss. Which I'll be honest does worry me ever so slightly. Okay, put this away for now. Can I swim? 
Okay, it looks like the answer is yes. Trees detected. Oxygen tanks refilled. Let's go! I love trees. So is that this planet done? Or are there other places on this planet we can still go to? I mean, we've, we've finished your quest. I mean, it's like 800 meters down. We're here. Let me let me just see if we can fly to the other side of the planet. Like if I were to theoretically like fly into the storm. Yes, there are more landing sites. Okay, cool. I need to fly. Where the hell am I? I can't see. I can't see. Okay, let's let's go here next. Let's go here next. There we go. Land per perfectly la perfect landing. Get me the hell out. Okay. I mean, this planet, I will say, seems kind of like a hellhole. Okay, we have two tornadoes here, it looks like. We got a dead man. It looks like an ancient spaceship. Oh, pick up scroll. Uh, here? Here you go. Okay, we're translating, translating. Kazava, this is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module, and we're ready to send it to the orbit around giant deeps for assembly. Our next step will be to send private uh, sign Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends out here at the construction yard, my gratitude uh, for all your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe that this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have failed. If I know any, uh, if I know my brother Avins and his spouse, I want to launch their probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon will break under the strain. I, I propose we give Avins and Mallow the slight lower maximum power setting uh, than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. Are you getting? Uh, are you going to the on us, love? I'm uh, delighted by your words, but they're so atypical for you. If I ever, if I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avins been, uh, behave together, does. We may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. Okay. We've learned that there is... Actually, is this another thing? Give, give me this. Give me this. Give me this, my scroll. Now, does the scroll only have one bit of information on it, or can I take it somewhere else? I don't know, to be quite honest with you. I have no idea. Oh, did you... Are you like a permanent, uh, are you a permanent one? Okay, but I mean, let's also take our, uh, walk here. We got our scroll, that's kind of, like, honestly, that's really all we need. By the way, if you get motion sickness, I don't know if this is probably the, uh, the experience for you. Let's just put it that way. What are you? Okay, you are... Okay, well, I guess we'll just drop this scroll then. Pick up control module projection stone. Equip translator. 18 minutes, 21 seconds ago. Long range probe successfully launched from orbital probe cannon. Eight, 18 minutes, 55 seconds ago. 57 seconds ago. Okay, so again, like, I, I, I know that, um, I don't know why the game is so framey, uh, here all of a sudden. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, uh, so the orbital probe cannon, uh, won't be asked to fire. I was hoping you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Casova. I wish I were my friend, but no. They aren't uh, certain that they can fix a problem, and thus the orbital probe cannon is on an indefinite hiatus. 
Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Uh, Privet has left for her brother. She fears Idea have I may feel responsible. Why are some of you orange? Is, is that just saying like who's saying what? Okay. Okay, we got more tornadoes here. Oh, can I put you in here? 